This is a collection of vintage Jurassic Park dinosaurs from the 90s. One of the biggest dinosaurs in this collection is this T-Rex. I believe it's called the Bull T-Rex. It's got some awesome unique coloring, some huge teeth, and some marbled eyes. This is another T-Rex figure, although it's a little bit smaller. It's got the rubbery skin once again, and the plastic arms and legs, and you can use the tail to move the head around. Back here is another vintage T-Rex model from the 90s. This one also has the rubbery skin and the hard plastic legs and arms, and you can use the stomach on this figure to open and close its mouth, although it's a little bit broken. Back here is something that's really cool. This is the Jurassic Park Lost World Mobile Command Center. Check it out, it is a complete RV with a crane, and it even came with a trailer to hitch onto the back. And you can even open them up to see what's on the inside too. Here is what I think is a Velociraptor figure. This figure is actually battery operated, although it doesn't work anymore and it used to be able to walk. It's also got some pretty unique coloring too. I've also got some of the vintage Jurassic Park eggs. Let's open it up and see what baby is inside. All right, it looks like it is a Velociraptor baby. It's got the marbled eyes and some striped coloring too. This next vintage figure from the 90s, I believe is the Utah Raptor. So it's in the Velociraptor family. It's got some huge claws on its feet. It's got some cool color patterning all over its body. And it has a chomping action as well. Check this out. Here is a really cool Parasaurolophus figure. It even comes with a back strap type of gear. It's got the blue and brown striping along its back all the way down to its tail. There's even some battle damage that you can reveal on its side underneath the backpack. And best of all, this figure has a headbutting action just like that, although it's broken so it'll fly off. So I have to be careful with that. The next Jurassic Park figure from the 90s is this Ankyloranodon figure. It's super bright, and unfortunately it's pretty fragile with the wings, they don't stay on super easy. But it's got some awesome coloring and detailing along its face, and you can move the tail by pressing on this button. Here, I believe, is a juvenile T-Rex figure with battle damage on the side. It's got the rubbery skin just like many of the others, but is a lot smaller than many of the adult T-Rex figures. This next bright and colorful figure, I believe is called the Compstagnathus figure. It's got super bright yellow, blue, and orange. You can adjust its arms and its legs, plus there's a trigger at the top that'll activate what I think is its tongue. Here is another Jurassic Park egg. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, this one is a baby Triceratops. It's also got the marbled eyes and a black and blue color all over its body. This next dinosaur figure is another crazy looking one. This is the Velociraptorix figure. It's got these crazy spikes on its head and its back, as well as on its arms as well. And you can use its legs to move its arm and its head. Down at the bottom here, we've got a giant Triceratops figure in the green and brown coloring with a huge battle damage on the side. And with this figure, you can even squeeze its stomach to lift its head up for roaring. Here is another winged dinosaur from this vintage collection. I believe that this one is a Pteranodon or a Pterodactyl. You can open and close its mouth, you can see its tongue on the inside, and you can press the button on its back to flap its wings. It's pretty interesting that its wings are actually made of a fabric too, so it's super flexible. This smaller figure, I believe, is a Velociraptor figure in orange and the red coloring as well. Up next is a pretty rare species. This is the Chasmosaurus. It's got some sound effects and you can move its head up and down, and it's got some pretty decent coloring as well. Up next is a Parasaurolophus figure. This dinosaur has some pretty realistic coloring, the red at the top and then some stripes going down its back. And there's a button on its back that you can use to move the legs for running. Here's one of my favorite vintage figures from the 90s. This is an Amargo Spinus. It's got some super bright coloring and you can use its leg to activate the spines on its back, on its neck, and open and close its mouth too. I've got one more Jurassic Park egg. Let's see what's inside. All right, this looks like a baby Velociraptor maybe, and it looks like it's got a bandage right on its leg as well. 
Check out this vintage Jurassic Park Lost World Jeep. It's got barricades on the side that you can lift down, and it's got these seats in the back that can be lifted up to go way high in the sky. Check out this next Velociraptor figure. It's got striping all over its body, even some dots on its neck as well. And you can move its arms and its legs, and it looks like its neck used to be activated by a battery as well. Here's another Velociraptor figure, but even smaller. This is one of my favorite vintage Velociraptor figures. It's got the clay red coloring along its body with the black, and it has a chomping action right on its neck too. This is another Triceratops dinosaur with green coloring on its body, and when you activate its leg, it moves its head up and down for roaring too. Check this out, I believe that this is a baby T-Rex. I don't have another T-Rex with this type of coloring, and this dinosaur actually has a broken leg feature. So you can actually bend the knee right there, and you can see that it's attached. And I've got a handful of character figures from the 90s. These are all Dr. Ian Malcolm figures. This one's in a suit, this one's got binoculars, and this one is in a parachuting suit, I believe. And I've also got these classic figures that all came as part of dinosaur sets from Jurassic Park. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaurs from my huge dinosaur collection. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs that we're gonna open up here today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started opening these up. First with the Baryonyx Grimm from Camp Cretaceous in the Primal Attack series. Let's open it up. Here we go, let's activate the batteries. And let's check this out. So this is differently colored from the other Baryonyxes that I have. It comes with sound effects, that's so cool. And it's brown on the bottom and then right next to its eyes, it's all red to really make those eyes pop out. Let's see what kind of actions these have. If you move the tail, let's see, you can get a chomping action and you can also move it side to side for a slashing action too. This is pretty cool. This is about the same size as the other Baryonyxes I have, but I like this one. I really like the dinosaur figures that you can control the head from the tail because it looks so much more realistic that way. That is super cool. Next up, we've got the, I believe it's pronounced Coelurus. I might be wrong, but it's from the Extreme Damage series. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, this is a pretty dark dinosaur. It's got that dark, dark green body a dark red, it's like almost a brown red color. You can move the arms, you can move the legs, and you can twist the tail. Right over here on top is the DNA barcode that you can scan to learn more about the dinosaur. And if you press the button right here, here comes a battle action. That is really cool. I really like these battle damage dinosaurs because it can change the whole look of the dinosaur with just a click of the button. And you can adjust its mouth too. <laughs> Next up, we've got this dinosaur. It's kind of hard to tell what kind of dinosaur it is. So let's open it up and see. All right. It is a Therizinosaurus. And look how brightly colored it is too. Get this cardboard out. I bet you remember this dinosaur from the new Jurassic World movie with those huge claws used for stabbing and slashing. And look at the coloring. It's got a nice blue color on the belly and chest and on the back from the tail all the way to the head. It is a super bright red. This might be one of the brightest dinosaurs that I have. And you can move the arms on this dinosaur and I think the mouth too. Yep, there we go. Next up from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got the Monolophosaurus from the Camp Cretaceous toy line. Let's open it up. So this is a smaller dinosaur, but it is super brightly colored with two different colors of green, just like the earlier dinosaur that we saw. So this is a bright green on the sides and then a dark green right on the top. And on the belly, it's like a tan color. 
And with this dinosaur, it's got a tail action as well. When you pull down the tail, it gives a chomping action. And you can move the legs and the arms, and that's about it on this dinosaur. But this is pretty cool. And next up from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got this chaotic cargo mini toy set. Let's open it up and see what dinosaurs are inside. I think that's pretty cool how they designed the box to look like a transport truck for the dinosaurs. Look at that, the whole thing, even the front. But let's check out these dinosaurs. First, we've got a mini version of Owen. Bingo! Look how small that is. But you can still adjust the arms and the legs. Next up, we've got this. I think this is the biggest dinosaur in the pack. This is a Stegosaurus, mm. and it has the same coloring as the larger ones that I have, actually, which we may see later on in this bin. Mm. Next up from the pack, we've got a special edition Allosaurus. And these are like pretty uh, bendable too, which is interesting. Most of the larger toys are not very bendable like this. And you can even open and close the mouth too on this tiny little figure. And last of all, We've got this mini Velociraptor. And it looks like blue. That is so cool. Next up, we've got a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Let's see that battle damage in action. That is super awesome. And all the joints are movable on this T-Rex as well. With the tail, the legs, even the ankles, the arms, and you can pose the head as well which is really cool. Most of my T-Rexes can't keep their mouth open unless you're pressing the button. But this one, you can fully pose. We've got another giant T-Rex. This one also with a posable neck and it's got movable legs, arms, and a tail as well. And this one has a button on the top of its head that you can press to make it roar. Look at all those teeth too. And this one is darker colored. It's like a gray on the side and then the dark brown on top. Way in the back here, we've got a giant Indominus Rex. This is even larger than the T-Rexes that we just saw. This is a light gray color throughout most of the body. And it's got that darker coloring right along its eyes right there. And this has a few actions as well. It's got a slashing action with its arms and it's got a button on its tail that you can press for the jaw. That is so cool. Right up front here, we've got a giant, I think this is a Brachiosaurus. Check out this huge body, it's mostly green. It's got a little bit of red on the sides right there. And then on the bottom, it's like an orange tan color. This Brachiosaurus doesn't have any movable parts, but it is pretty squishy and bendy. And see, I can bend its neck back and forth like that. Right up here, we've got one of the newest Tyrannosaurus Rexes from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Check out the size of the face on this T-Rex right here. This is huge, and it's much darker than a lot of the T-Rexes I have. Look at that, it's like a black color right on the top, and then on the sides, a dark brown, and then on the belly, it's like a light tan color. And the legs are movable, the ankles, the arms, and with the tail, which I really like, you can wiggle the tail and it moves his head back and forth. Plus, it's got a button on the tail for the roaring. Right up front here, we've got a little Carnotaurus. This one's different from most of the figures that I have, but you can see that there's an action button on its tail for chomping, just like that. Plus, a button on top, when you press that, it blinks its eyes. Not many of my other dinosaur figures can do that. And you can move the legs and also the tiny little arms as well. Those things are super tiny. All right, another giant T-Rex with different coloring than all the rest. This T-Rex actually comes with a face cage that you can put on. And then when you press this action button on its back, it'll break free from it, which is super cool. Plus, when you twist the tail of this T-Rex, it actually stomps its legs up and down. Ah! 
Up next, we've got a bright green Dilophosaurus with a bright red frills right on its face. Here is a Jurassic World quiz question for you. Who did the Dilophosauruses chase after in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie? Comment below. <laughs> All right, here is the full-size Stegosaurus. We saw that teeny tiny little one earlier in the video. This is the full-sized one, and I think they actually have the same coloring too. With the brown on the sides, the light tan on the belly, and then those green tips. That's super cool. And this Stegosaurus has two action buttons. You can see when you press down here, it moves its face. And when you press down on, which one is it? Here it is. When you press down on this one, this tail swings back and forth. It's spring loaded, which is super awesome. Right up here, we've got a medium sized Tyrannosaurus Rex with different coloring than all the rest. You can see that this one has more black stripes that are vertical on it. And you can see on this dinosaur, compared to the other T-Rexes, there's a lot more texture on these. You can't move the legs or the arms on this T-Rex, but you can still open and close the mouth. Right over here, we've got a normal sized Carnotaurus, still with the same bright red clay coloring and the gray bottom, and it gets darker to like a brown right along the top of its body. On this Carnotaurus, you can wiggle the tail to move its head back and forth and up and down and all that. Plus, there's an action button on its tail to chomp its mouth. Check this out. This is another Carnotaurus, but it has totally different coloring. The pattern on this Carnotaurus is really interesting. It's almost like diamonds on its side. And it's got that bright orange face. You can't close the mouth, unfortunately, or move the legs or the arms or the tail. But I just really like how different this Carnotaurus looks. The color on this one is totally wild. Right over here, we've got a short but super long dinosaur that looks kind of like an alligator, really. This is a Sarcosagus, and it has tons of teeth in its mouth. And the coloring on this is super wild, too. It's like a dark purple on the top. It's got the orange and red specks right on the side and then a blue-gray color on the rest of the side and all along the bottom. And with this sarcosagus, when you wiggle the tail, it controls his face. How cool is that? Right over here is one of the scariest dinosaurs from the second Jurassic World movie. It is the Scorpios Rex. This dinosaur is super dark along most of its body other than its belly, which is a bright yellow color. And this dinosaur has two actions. It's got the arm slashing action. Whoop, wrong button. The arm slashing action. And the chomping action too. Right here, this is a huge dinosaur. We saw this one earlier. This is another Therizinosaurus, but this is from the Jurassic World toy line. And, as you can already hear, it has tons of sound effects. Let's see what actions it has. If you wiggle the tail, you can control its torso. And there's a button right here on its tail that when you press that, it's got that chomping action. How cool! And like the earlier Therizinosaurus that we saw, this one also has the bright red right along its top. Up next, we've got a large-sized Velociraptor, and I think it's Velociraptor Blue. You can move the arms of this Velociraptor, the legs, you can twist and adjust the tail, but the mouth does not open or close on this Velociraptor. But I still like this Velociraptor figure because it is larger than most of the other figures that I have. Most of the other figures are probably around this size, I'd say. So this one is actually giant in comparison. Right over here on the side, I believe this is from the John Hammond collection, and I think this is a Pteranodon. And this has super flexible wings. It's like all made out of rubber, so it's super bendy. And I do like the coloring on this as well. It's got that brown over most of its body, and then that yellow coloring right along its wings. That's super cool. And look at the intricacy of the coloring on its face as well. Up next, we've got this mighty Ankylosaurus. 
with those spikes on the side and armor right on the top. You do not wanna mess with this one in the wild. And it's got an action as well. There's a button to swing its tail back and forth with a super heavy end. I bet that would knock out some dinosaurs. Right on top here, we've got a smaller dinosaur, but don't be fooled. This, I believe, is a juvenile Giganotosaurus. It's got like this red purple coloring right along its face. And then on the top, it's got black with the white striping as well. You can't move the arms or legs of this figure, but you can open and close the jaw. Next up, we've got another Stegosaurus, but this one has entirely different coloring. This is a blue-gray color, and you can see that there's some even darker coloring right along the top. And on the belly, as usual, is a tan color. This Stegosaurus has only one action button. When you press right here, it wiggles its tail back and forth with those spikes. But on this one, you can just move the face. There's no action button to control it. Right over here, we've got another giant Velociraptor. This one is super adjustable and it is a super bright green color. Look at the ways that you can adjust each limb with the ankles, with the knees, with the elbows. Everything is adjustable on this Velociraptor. Right over here, we've got another Baryonyx with totally different coloring. Unlike the brand new Baryonyx that we saw earlier in the video, this one has a gray body along the sides and the bottom. And on the top of the body is a dark blue color with like a little bit of white. And then right on the neck is a super bright blue color. And this Baryonyx has an entirely different action as well. When you slide this back and forth, it does chomping. Check this out. This is the Concavenator. And look at that bright red coloring right along its back right there. Plus it's got the purple right there and especially all over its head. This dinosaur is also fully adjustable. You can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail as well. Plus it's got some action buttons. See, there's one right here. Let's see what happens. There's the chomping action. And when you press down on this huge hump on its back, it swings its tail back and forth too. Here is another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. And just like many of the other models that we have, you can't move the arms or the legs, but look at the intricacy of the texture along its body. Look at all that different coloring from the dark brown to the light brown. There's even like a little bit of, it seems like orange or yellow in there too. And with this model, you can of course, open and close its mouth and see all those giant teeth. Here we've got a model Spinosaurus with the huge bright red spine and the red goes all the way down to the end of its tail. The rest of its body is like a dark gray color and it's got the yellow belly as usual. And on this model Spinosaurus, you can open and close its jaw. Here is another huge and brightly colored dinosaur. This is the mighty Carcharodontosaurus. Did you know that these dinosaurs have teeth that are up to eight inches long each? Those are some huge teeth. This dinosaur is a tan yellow color along most of its body, but right along the top, we can see these bright orange stripes that go all the way up to the dinosaur's face where the nose is also the bright orange color. And there's an action button on this dinosaur where you can chomp. Here we've got another miniature Carnotaurus. This one actually has a broken horn right on the top. Do you remember seeing that in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie? I know I do. This dinosaur is a dark green color along most of its body, and it's got the orange pattern right along the top of its body as well. And it is fully posable. You can move the arms, the legs, the neck, and the jaw as well. Right over here, oh, dropped one of them. These are both Pachycephalosauruses. They both have different coloring. They've got orange on both of them, but this one is a green color on its belly and side. And this one is kind of green, but it's more of a yellow green on its belly. And it's got those specks on the side as well. Plus this figure actually has an action as well. When you pull on the tail, it has a hammering action. 
Oh, here's a different looking dinosaur. Look at those frills all along its neck. This is the Amargosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly brown along the sides and the bottom, but there's a lot of dark specks on the top. Plus, there's this bright red coloring all along its frills and its spine all the way to the bottom. And this dinosaur has some actions as well. First button moves its neck up and down, and the second button swings its tail. Here we've got a huge winged dinosaur. I remember seeing this one in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. This dinosaur has some super bright coloring right next to its eyes and on the horn on its head and right along the tip of its beak. And the rest of its body is like a blue gray color, except for its wings that are brown and a light tan. Plus there's an action button right up top. When you press it, it flaps its wings. We've still got some dinosaurs left. Here is the Rajasaurus with the brown coloring along its side and the dark blue right next to its neck and on those spines on its neck too. This Rajasaurus has an action when you press down on the feet, it does a chomping action. That is super awesome. I think we've got some more Velociraptors in here. Oh yeah, here's a few and they're all super differently colored. This first one kind of looks like blue, but not quite. It has the blue stripe right there and you can adjust the arms and you can open and close the jaw. And notice, I think it has a little bit of feathers right on its elbow right there. That's super interesting. The next Velociraptor figure is a dark purple color with brown coloring on the top and along its head. How cool is that? And this last Velociraptor right here is tan and brown with a little bit of yellow specks. And this Velociraptor has an action as well. Its torso actually swings back and forth. It's spring loaded, so it swings super fast. Let's see what other little dinosaurs we've got in here. All right, this first one is a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex and it comes with a muzzle and a bandage as well. You can actually take the muzzle off and you can open and close its mouth. This is a super bright green Tyrannosaurus Rex with that speckled striping along the top. This next figure is a teeny tiny Indominus Rex, but it's still pretty detailed. You can still see the texture of the skin and it's got that brown coloring right along its spine right there. And this next dinosaur, I'm sure you recognize from the new Jurassic World movie, this is an Atrociraptor. It is mostly white and it's got that brown stripes kind of randomly all throughout its body. It's super cool and pretty scary looking. I think we've got a few more winged dinosaurs in here too. Let's check out this giant one first. This is actually another Quetzalcoatlus, but with entirely different coloring. See the purple? that fades into like a dark maroon color, and the rest of its body is mostly this tan color. But like the other Quetzalcoatlus that we saw, it has super bright coloring on its face. Check that out. And of course, when you press this button right here, it'll flap its wings. How cool. This next winged dinosaur is a little one. This is a Dimorphodon. Most of its body and wings are this dark brown color, but you can see some orange stripes here on its head and on the bottom of its wings right here too. And this winged dinosaur is a Pteranodon with a dark blue color along most of its body and red detailing along the top. Plus it has the battle damage right on its body right there. Next up, we've got this super weird looking dinosaur. This is the Tanistrophius. This dinosaur, I believe resides in the ocean. And check out this super long neck. When you pull the tail, it swoops its neck down like that. Mm -hmm. That is super cool. And this is a bright dinosaur too. It's a bright blue color. <laughs> Next up, we've got a dinosaur with some massive spikes. This is a Sauropelta and it's bright red along the top and a dark brown along the bottom. And this dinosaur is actually spring loaded. So you can twist the torso back and forth for that slashing action with its horns. Right up here, we've got a little Monolophosaurus figure. This dinosaur has a dark green coloring along the sides and bottom. It has that yellow coloring right along its back and right on the front of its face, it's got that red coloring too. 
And with the tail, you can press up and down to open and close its mouth. We've got another super interesting colored dinosaur. This is the Protoceratops. Yay. And it's like a light purple color with the yellow striping pattern along the top of its body and along its face as well, right up front. Right up here, we've got a red Stigimaloc. This is a headbutting dinosaur. And when you pull the tail up and down, it has the headbutting action. How cool is that? Oh, I think we've got another baby T-Rex in here. This one is also a bright green color and it actually has an action. When you pull the tail, you can control its jaw. Next up, we've got another dinosaur from the ocean. This is the Plesiosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly tan along its body, but it does have the dark blue coloring right along its back all the way up to its face right here. And when you press the action button, you can actually make him move his fins. Next up, we've got this green colored Herrerasaurus, and it's actually got a little bit of blue along its top too, which is super interesting. This Herrerasaurus is fully adjustable. You can move the legs, the arms, the neck, and the jaw as well. So it is fully poseable. Up next, we've got this bright green Draco Rex. Look at how bright this dinosaur is. I think that is super cool. And look at that dark gray striping along its back. But don't forget those massive horns on its head. This Draco Rex is fully adjustable. You can move the neck, you can move the arms, and the legs as well. But the jaw does not open and close, unfortunately. Here we have a teeny tiny little Gallimimus with three different colors on it. Got the orange tan color for most of its body, and then the blue and red striping all along its back, all the way up to its blue face. <laughs> And our last dinosaur is another super scary looking Dilophosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly gray with darker gray specks along the top. And on those frills, you've got that bright red coloring. Today, I'm gonna show you this huge collection of Jurassic World figures that I took down from my display shelves. I bet there's around a hundred figures in here. Plus, I've even got some brand new ones from the Amber Collection, the Hammond Collection, and from the new Jurassic World Dominion series that we're gonna open up. So let's get started. First up is the Strike and Roar Giganotosaurus. This figure is dark green in color, like many of the Giganotosaurus figures that I have. It's got the huge spines in the back all the way up to its head, and it's pretty adjustable. You can move the legs around, you can adjust the arms, and the biggest feature of this figure is the button on its back that you use to swing its head around. Look at that chomping action. Plus, there is a button at the bottom of its tail as well for chomping the mouth. Next up, we've got the Amber Collection Velociraptor from the Lost World Jurassic Park. All right, here is the figure. This is a bright orange Velociraptor with a tan underbelly. It's got those dark brown stripes along the top, all the way to the top of the head. Looks like its eyes are like a dark gold color. And like all of the Amber Collection figures, this figure is very adjustable with all of its limbs and is very poseable. Plus, this figure comes with a stand that you can use to display your brand new Velociraptor. Next up is the Hammond Collection Parasaurolophus. So this figure is predominantly a light tan color. It's got some dark purple brown coloring along the legs and along the back. And most importantly, that bright orange stripe all the way from its head down to its tail. 
And overall, I'd say the detailing and paint on this is pretty decent. It's not the most detail that I've seen, but I definitely appreciate that you can move all the limbs around. You can bend at the knees, you can move the arms, you can adjust the neck and the head as well. So it is a very adjustable figure. And finally, we've got the Jurassic World Dominion, Dr. Alan Grant and Dimetrodon set. So here is Dr. Alan Grant holding a Dimetrodon skull. That thing is humongous. And here is the Dimetrodon figure. Its body is a gray green color and it's got the iconic super huge spine along its back that's orange. Right along its spine, you can find the DNA barcode scanner and you can adjust the legs, the tail, the neck and the jaw as well. Let's dive into our first bin of Jurassic World figures. This T-Rex has a tearing action when you press this button on its back, it swings its head around and clamps its jaw shut. Plus, it's got another button on its back to swing the tail around too. Next up, we've got a bright orange T-Rex with battle damage all over its body. It's got some on its chin, on its neck, on its thigh, on its stomach, and it's got a button at the top of its head for the chomping action. Here is another bright orange T-Rex, but this one does not have any battle damage at all. And it also has the button on the top of its head for chomping. Here we've got a smaller T-Rex figure. I believe this is the Sound Surge T-Rex. It's got this button on its back that you can use to activate the sound effects. This, I believe, is the Jurassic World Dominion Thrash and Devour T-Rex. It's got the black top, brown sides, and the lighter underbelly, and you can use the tail to control the face. Got two more T-Rexes left in this haul. This is a dark green T-Rex. It's got the button on the top of its head for chomping, and the rest of its body is adjustable too. And way back here, we've got the T-Rex with the extreme battle damage. Check that out, you can turn it on and off. Next up are the Indominus Rexes. This first Indominus Rex figure is larger than a lot of the T-Rex figures I have, and it has two actions. The first is on the front of its back that's used for claw slashing, and the second is on its tail used for the jaws. This second Indominus Rex is the extreme battle damage edition. See its battle damage on this side and on the other side, and you can turn it on and off using the button on the top of its back. Next up are the Scorpius Rexes. This is a basic figure of the Scorpius Rex, so you can move its arms and legs somewhat, and its tail is slightly adjustable. And this figure, interestingly, is very narrow. And here is the better version of the Scorpius Rex figure. This figure is very adjustable and it has two actions. The first is for roaring and chomping. And the second action button is for slashing the claws. Here we've got a ton of Ceratosaurus figures. This first one has a gray, red, and brown body with the white horn. This next one has a tan body with red and black and a yellow horn. I've also got a dark green Ceratosaurus with a slide lever action. A brown and orange Ceratosaurus with an action button on its back for chomping and roaring. And another gray, red, and black Ceratosaurus with a slide action lever on its back. Next up, I've got a few Carcharodontosaurus figures. This first one is a bright red Carcharodontosaurus with the yellow on the top of its head and some darker detailing on its back. And the second Carcharodontosaurus is yellow and green in color and it has the same chomping action button as the first one. Here is a pretty scary looking predator. This is a Tarbosaurus. It is gray, black, and red right underneath its chin, and it's got these huge spikes right along its spine. Next, I've got two Albertosauruses. The first one has battle damage on its side that you can open up and close, and a little bit of battle damage right on its leg. And the second Albertosaurus is a bit brighter in color. It has a bright orange along the side, and it has an action button on its tail for chomping. Next up, this first Carcharodontosaurus is dark blue and it's got some orange and brown detailing and it has an action button for chomping. 
This second Carcharodontosaurus is tan in color and it has some orange and brown detailing and it actually has a face cage that you can use the action button to break free from. This dinosaur figure, if I remember correctly, is the Yangchuanosaurus. This figure has an action that when you move the tail, it swings its torso around, plus a button to activate the jaw. Here, I've got a few Sucomimus figures. This first one is bright yellow with brown detailing along the top and two action buttons, one to activate the face and jaw and a second to activate the tail. This second Sucomimus is dark blue in color with yellow detailing along the top and the spine and has one action button to activate the jaw. Next, we've got some Endoraptor figures. This first one is a basic figure, so you can only move the arms, legs, and tail a little bit, and you can't activate the jaw at all. But it still has some pretty awesome coloring and details with the spikes. And this second Endoraptor figure is extremely adjustable. You can move the arms, the legs, the elbows, the knees. The tail has two joints that you can turn, and you can open and close the jaw too. I've also got quite a few Allosaurus figures in here too. This first one is gray and yellow in coloring and has an action button on its back to activate the jaw. This next Allosaurus is tan and blue with actually two tones of blue on its body and it has two action buttons, one to activate the jaw and one to activate the arms. Here are two more Allosaurus figures. This first one is dark green, white, and red in color and has a slide action button to activate the jaw and roaring sound effects. And this Allosaurus is brown and blue in color and has the slide action lever to activate the jaw and sound effects. And the last dinosaur of this first bin is the Irritator. It has a brown body with blue and light blue coloring, and you can use the tail to control the face. On to the second bin. This first dinosaur is the Extreme Chompin' Spinosaurus with the dark green body and the red spine. This next figure, I believe, is the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus with the same body but with a light tan color and darker brown along the top right next to the red spine. I've also got quite a few Carnotaurus figures in here as well. This one is a dark brown Carnotaurus and has an action button on its tail for chomping. This next Carnotaurus figure is a bit smaller, but it's from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. It's dark green in color with the orange detailing right along the top. This next Carnotaurus is bright orange in color with a darker top and also has the action button on its tail for chomping. And this final Carnotaurus is a bit smaller and darker red in color and has an action button on the top of its back for chomping. This next figure is a Seat's Micarorum. It's got the bright orange and the dark blue coloring and all these spikes right along the top of its head and its back too. And over here, I've got quite a few Baryonyx figures. This first one is dark gray and blue with bright blue right along the top. This next figure is dark brown and dark gray with the bright orange right along its nose. And these other Baryonyx figures have all sorts of colors as well. This one is bright green with brown detailing. This next one has actually a little bit of battle damage on its side, right on its neck and on its leg. And this final Baryonyx is gray and a dark blue gray in color with the reflective blue right along the top of its head. I've also got a few Cryolophosaurus figures as well. This first one is dark blue with white, red, and orange detailing and has an action button that you can use to control the head. And this second Cryolophosaurus figure is bright yellow with brown detailing along the top and the orange right along the top of the head. Right here are a few basic Dilophosaurus figures. This first one is a soft green color all over its body and it has the red coloring right along its frills and the crown. And this second Dilophosaurus is a dark red color and it has the green and orange coloring right along its frills and the yellow on the crown too. <laughs> 
Next up is the Rajasaurus from the Jurassic World Dominion Collection. This dinosaur has an action that when you press down on the body, it chomps. Next up, I believe this is the Majingasaurus. It's got a dark green body with yellow and blue as well. And here is one of the stars of the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Giganotosaurus, and it comes with sound effects too. Here are a few Ankylosauruses from the original Jurassic World movie. This first one is brown and tan in color, has a little bit of battle damage on the side. This one right here is a special edition because it has a removable protective shell on top of its spikes, as well as on the back of its tail right here, and is a gray color, but it also has some reflective green and blue coloring all throughout. Next up, we've got a basic raptor figure. This is Velociraptor Blue, and this figure is fairly adjustable. You can move the arms, the legs, and tail just a little bit. This is an interesting looking dinosaur. This is a Concavenator. It's got some super bright coloring along its back and on its face too. This figure, I believe, is an Ampelosaurus. This dinosaur has the super long neck and all these spikes right along its back, and it has an action button to control the head. We've also got a few Triceratops figures back here. This first one is a clay red color with brown detailing right along the top. And this second one is a dark brown color with two tones of blue right along the top. Next up, we've got a Mega Raptor from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This figure has a chomping action that you can activate by pressing down on its body. This dinosaur figure is the Nasutoceratops. It's got the blue, red, and green body with the lighter underbelly and an action button to activate the head and the tail. This huge figure is the Pentaceratops. It's got a tan body with gray detailing along the top and an action button to break free from its face cage. Looks like we have a few more Indominus Rex figures back here. This first one is the larger of the two. It has battle damage right on the side that you can open and close, and you can use the tail to activate the jaw. And this second Indominus Rex figure is a bit smaller. It has permanent battle damage on the side, and you can use the tail to activate the jaw and the neck. This, I believe, is a Cynoceratops. It's got the green body with the tan detailing all over. It's got a little bit of orange on the top of its head, too. And I've got a few Stegosaurus figures in here as well. This one is a teal blue color with a lighter underbelly and has an action button to swing the tail back and forth. This next Stegosaurus figure is a darker blue-gray color and is very much similar and has the same action button to swing the tail around. And this final Stegosaurus is brown, tan, and green in color, and actually has a different action button that when you press right here, it swings its entire back body back and forth. That's different than the other two figures that I have. This next figure, I believe, is a Kentrosaurus. It has a brown body and a slide lever action to activate the swinging back and forth with those two front spikes. Over here, we've got a few more Ankylosauruses from Jurassic World. This first one has a clay red body with the brown on top and the tan spikes. And this second one has a dark brown belly with the gray spikes and the green and gray all over the top. I've also got a few more Velociraptors from the Amber Collection. Here is the bright green one with gray detailing and the gray underbelly. Here is the brown Velociraptor with the light underbelly and the gray detailing along the top. We've also got this gray Velociraptor, I believe is Velociraptor Blue. And I've also got this bright teal Velociraptor with the lighter underbelly. This figure is another Parasaurolophus. It's got the yellow body with the bright pink or purple coloring right along the top. Here is an Iguanodon that I bought just recently. It has a tan body with a darker brown top and the striping, and has a head swinging action when you press down on the body. This is the Baryonyx from the Hammond Collection, and is very adjustable with all the limbs in its body. 
I've also got a few Atrociraptors in here. This first one is tan and in the sneaking pose. And this second one is the classic gray color with the brown striping. Next, I've got the Miragaya with the huge spikes on its side. And I believe this is the Shringosaurus with a much smaller spikes right on its shoulder. I've also got tons of Velociraptors in here. This first one is bright red and green and is actually one of the jumping Velociraptors. This other Velociraptor is one of the normal ones, but is gray in color and has the dark blue coloring right along the top. I've got even more Velociraptors. This first one has the extreme battle damage on the side. This next Velociraptor is another one of the jumping Velociraptors and is a bright teal color. And this Velociraptor is dark red with a purple stripe right down the sides. And here's even some more Velociraptor figures. This first one is Velociraptor Blue in the Springing series. Here is another Velociraptor Blue figure, but this one is the Battle Damage Edition that you can open and close. Here is a classic brown Velociraptor with the bright green eyes. And here is Velociraptor Beta a much smaller and younger Velociraptor. Here are a couple Dimetrodon figures. This first one is a gray-blue color along its body with a bright red and yellow speckled spine. This other figure is actually a battle damage edition that you can turn on and off. It has the green body with the bright red spine. This brightly colored figure is the Moros Intrepidus, and it's got the teal body with the bright orange tail. I've also got a few Herrerasaurus figures in here as well. First one is a gray blue color with a lighter detailing along the top. And this second one actually has battle damage on the side and the rest of its body is green with brown detailing along the top. <laughs> Next up, I've got a few Monolophosaurus figures in here. This first one is a darker brown color with gray detailing. And this other Monolophosaurus is a bright lime green with darker green detailing right along its back and the red right next to its nose. <laughs> Here we've got some herbivore figures. This is the Draco Rex in the lime green color. This next herbivore is a Stigimoloch, I believe. It's got the huge spikes right next to its hard head, and the rest of its body is a clay red color with some darker detailing. And this figure is a Pachycephalosaurus. It's got the green on the belly and the clay red on top and an action button for the head hammering. Here are a few more Dilophosaurus figures, but a lot smaller. This first one is brown and blue with some white in the frill. This next one is a deep purple color with red on the back and yellow and red right along the frills. And this final Dilophosaurus is green on the belly, black on the back, and it's got some red and yellow in the frills. We've got a few more herbivores in here. Here is a Battle Damage Edition Triceratops with the Battle Damage right along the side. We've also got a Minmi figure that is green in color and it's got the spikes all along its back. And I believe that this one is a Cosmoceratops and is very decorative in the front. Next up, we've got a Protoceratops that is purple in color and it's got the yellow detailing along the top. This figure I think might be an Iguanodon but I'm actually not sure but it is dark blue along the sides and the bottom and it's got the orange yellow detailing along the top. And this figure is another Parasaurolophus. This is a light brown color on the belly and the sides and it's got the darker detailing along its back. <laughs> And here are our last three dinosaurs out of these two huge bins. We've first got a baby Brachiosaurus that is light green on the sides and a darker green along the top. Here is a Sauropelta with the huge spikes on the top. And finally, the good old Zunoceratops with the two spikes in the front and the dark blue along the top and its back and the rest of its body is a light green color.
back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out all of my newest figures in my collection. I've got tons of Jurassic World Dominion and other figures, plus I've got some unopened ones that we're gonna check out today. So let's get started. First up is the Jurassic World Dominion Rowdy Roars Dilophosaurus. Let's check it out. Here is the full figure. This is a dark green Dilophosaurus. It's got the frills just like in the movie. I noticed though that one of the sides is not painted. I think that might be a defect in this figure. Well, that's pretty weird to get an uncolored side, but nevertheless, let's still check out the rest of the figure. It's a pretty small figure. You can see that the legs are like dangly. They're very loose as well as the tail and the frills because when you press this button at the top of its head, it actually moves around. And let's check out that roaming action. It's interesting, so it walks around a little bit. It doesn't go too far. All you have to do is touch the, its chin right there, and it'll start walking around. Let's check out this new figure way back here. This is another Jurassic World Dominion figure. This is the Ampelosaurus. Let's check it out. So this figure is pretty different looking than all the other figures that I have. It's got this really long neck, stands on four legs, and it's got the clay red body and the brown top. Plus, this dinosaur has tons of spikes on its body, more so than a lot of the other figures that I have. It's got the row on the top, it's got some on its side. It's really interesting. This figure does not require any batteries. Instead, it just has the tail that you use to control the head, which I really like. This is a really cool way to control dinosaur figures. Next up, we've got a Jurassic World Seat's Micarorum. Let's check it out. So this is a medium sized figure. It's a lot smaller than most of the T-Rexes I have, but it's around the same size as the Tarbosaurus and other figures like that. It's got the orange body with the blue detailing on top. And this one also has tons of spikes on it as well, but they're smaller spikes. And it's got some green eyes, tons of teeth of different sizes too, which is pretty cool. This figure does not require any batteries as well. It is controlled just by your hand. By moving the tail, you can twist the head back and forth. Plus, there is the button on the tail to open and close the jaw. And next up of the brand new figures to unbox, this is a Jurassic World Dominion mini set. Let's see what's inside. So in this packaging, it actually has doors that open up to reveal the figures inside. So let's see what's in here. First up is a little itty bitty herbivore, it looks like. I'm not sure what species this is. That's pretty cool. Right next to it. This is a green and brown Triceratops. It's pretty cool. Next one on the bottom, we've got a Baryonyx with a gray and dark blue coloring. Over here is another door. I believe that this one contains a human. All right, so here is Claire, a minifigure. It's fairly detailed for how small it is. You can actually see, you can't see it on camera, but she does have a face. They colored that in, so that's pretty cool. And last of all, we've got that Carnotaurus at the top. This is the largest figure in this minis pack. As you can see, it's got the iconic clay red coloring with the black detailing on top and the white underbelly. And even on a figure as small as this, you can still open and close the jaw. Very cool. Next up, this is my newest addition to the super colossal collection that I have. This is an Atrociraptor. It's got the iconic gray body with the brown and light brown detailing on the top and sides. And it's pretty adjustable. You can move the wrists, the arms, move the legs and the tail as well. And you can even twist the neck too. Plus, it's got a huge set of teeth. And like many super colossal figures, this dinosaur can swallow mini figures, such as this miniature Ankylosaurus. Can put it right in the mouth, eats it up, goes all the way down its throat to its stomach, where you can open it up and retrieve the dinosaur again. That's pretty cool. And on the other side is another super colossal figure that I added recently. This is a Giganotosaurus. And it's probably one of the most unique super colossal figures that I have. Check out that spine all along its back and on top of its head up here. 
And the part that I like the most are its teeth. This has some of the most unique looking teeth out of the super colossal figures that I have. They're really cool and they fit together really well like that. It's really cool. Just like the Atrociraptor, this figure is quite adjustable. You can move the wrists, the arms, the legs, the tail. You can open and close the jaw. And of course, this dinosaur can eat miniature dinosaurs as well. Here is a miniature Velociraptor. Let's have the Giganotosaurus eat it up. And then you check out the stomach compartment. And there it is. That's pretty cool. The stomach can hold, I don't know, maybe like 20 miniature dinosaurs or so. Next up, way in the back here, we've got one of my favorite collector's items. This is the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex has some of the most detailed painting out of most of the Jurassic World T-Rexes that I have. Look at all that texture and all the shading, which I think is really cool. Plus, this T-Rex has the most points of articulation out of all the Jurassic World figures that I have. You can move its knees, its ankles, its arms, and its elbows. You can adjust the neck back and forth and up and down. You can see that it has a marbled eye, so it's not just a painted eye like many of the other figures. And in this figure, the mouth is pretty realistic too. It's got a rubberized tongue, and the flaps on the side of its mouth are actually rubberized as well, so they feel and look a lot more realistic. Right up top here, we've got another Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure has a much darker body. It's a dark brown on the side with the black on top and then the lighter underbelly. And it's got a huge head and it comes with sound effects as you can hear. Now the sound effects are a little broken on this specific figure. I'm not sure why, it just came that way, but it's still a pretty cool figure. And like many of the other Jurassic World Dominion figures that I've shown you today, you can use the tail to control the front of the head. This, I believe, is a Ragosaurus. It's a smaller figure. It's got a dark brown body with the gray blue detailing on top and those interesting spines right on its neck too. Plus a single horn on the top of its head much like a Ceratosaurus. This figure has a chomping action that when you press down on its body, it chomps its mouth. Next up, we've got another Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic World. This one has a dark green body. This one is really cool because I don't have another T-Rex figure with this coloring. And it is quite adjustable just like many of the other typical Jurassic World figures. Move the legs, the arms, and you can move the neck back and forth too and it's got the button on the top of its head for roaring and chomping. This is a Pteranodon from, I believe, the Amber Collection. It's got rubberized wings, so they're really flexible and they feel like real wings. The rest of the body is made of hard plastic and it's got some pretty cool coloring and detailing all over its body. This is another Tyrannosaurus Rex, but as you can see, it comes with something special. This T-Rex comes with a cage for its face that when you use the action button on its back, it can actually break free from. And it comes with some pretty cool sound effects too. Plus on this figure, you can twist the tail back and forth for some stomping action. Here's another gigantic figure. This is a Mosasaurus. This Jurassic Park figure has a darker blue coloring compared to the older Mosasaurus figurine, and it's got these white specks all over its body too. Plus you can open and close the jaw, you can adjust all the fins, and on this figure you can actually move the tail around too. This is a basic Jurassic World Pteranodon figure. It's a light green color, it's got some yellow detailing on the wings and on the top of its head too. Oh. This is an Aranosaurus, which I believe is an herbivore. Plus, it comes with a few actions as well when you slide this lever back and forth. So it's got tons of different sound effects and it moves its head up and down every time you move that slide. Next up, this I believe is an Asutoceratops. It's got those huge horns much like a bull, kind of. And it's got the dark blue body with the red detailing on top and some green legs as well. Plus, this figure has two action buttons. The first is for roaring, and the 
the second is for swinging the tail back and forth. Over here is a smaller figure. This is a Monolophosaurus. You can open and close its jaw, you can adjust its neck, and move its arms and its legs too. And it's got some pretty cool coloring too. It's got the tan with the gray detailing on the top. This is an Allosaurus with dark green coloring all over its body, a little bit of a lighter color on its neck, and the white and red detailing on the top of its neck right next to those spikes. This figure also has the action slide lever for different roaring and different sound effects. Right over here, we've got, I believe, a Sinoceratops. This has a light green body with some tan detailing on the top and on the face, and even a little bit of orange on the top as well. It's got some pretty unique horns too, and it's got an action button for roaring. This is an Albertosaurus figure. This has a little bit darker green coloring on its body with orange detailing on its side all the way up to its face. And it's got a pretty interesting texture all over its body. You can see all these bumps. It looks like armor kind of. Plus this figure's tail actually controls the head and the jaw too. Over here, we've got the mighty Quetzalcoatlus. This is a huge winged dinosaur that I'm sure you recognize from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And it's got some pretty cool coloring on its face too. It's got the light blue right on the top of that horn thing right there. And it's got some orange on its nose and right next to its eyes. This is an irritator. This dinosaur has some pretty cool coloring. It's got some light blue right next to some dark blue and the rest of its body is dark brown and tan on the belly. You can hear tons of sound effects coming from it, which are activated by wiggling the tail around. Next up, we've got another herbivore. I'm actually not sure what species this is, so let me know in the comments below if you recognize this species. It's pretty similar to a Triceratops. It's got tons more horns though, and it's got a huge horn right in the front too. And this figure has a tail that controls its head too, which is pretty awesome. Here is the Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor. It's very similar to the Dilophosaurus that we unboxed at the beginning of this video. This Atrociraptor has the bright orange body with the brown on top. And just like the Dilophosaurus, it's got a button on the top of its head for roaring. And when you touch its chin, it actually walks around. Oh, kind of hard to hold. Next up, we've got, I believe, the Majungasaurus. This has some super bright coloring with blue, yellow, and a dark green, and a lot of yellow on its belly as well. And like many of the other Jurassic World Dominion figures, you can use the tail to control the head. Right over here, we've got a miniature Indominus Rex. This figure has a button on its nose that you can press for roaring sound effects. You can use the tail to open its mouth, and when you touch the tongue, it actually clamps its jaw shut. That's pretty cool. It's as if it's eating my finger. Ah. Next up, we've got the Jurassic World Dominion Yangchuanosaurus. This is a very recent figure. It's got the soft green coloring on the sides, a yellow underbelly, and the brown detailing along the top. But most importantly, it's got those orange frills right on the top of its head. And this figure, of course, can be controlled by its tail. You can move its head around by adjusting the tail, and it's actually got a button to open and close its jaw, too. Next up, we've got the mighty Pentaceratops. This is a huge figure. It's got the tan sides with the gray detailing on the top, and it's got tons of horns on the front of its face, too. Plus, this figure actually comes with a face cage, just like the T-Rex that we saw earlier, that it can use to break free. So let's go ahead and put it on and test it out. There we are. It's a little confusing to get on, but once it's on, it looks pretty cool. And here comes the break free function. In just one swipe, it is broken free. That's pretty cool. And there is a second action button to control a side-to-side -side swinging, too. This is the Hammond Collection Baryonyx. It's got some pretty detailed coloring, like many of the Hammond Collection figures, and tons of points of articulation as well. You can move its legs all around, its arms, and its head as well. 
and I think it's a lot more textured than many of the other Baryonyx figures that I have. You can see all those bumps along its body. You can even see its ribs right there too. This is a Kentrosaurus. It's got tons of spikes all over its body and it's got an action lever to actually use those spikes on its shoulder too. Those spikes are huge. That is really cool. And it's got the dark brown on top and the tan on the bottom with a lighter tan right along its chest and neck too. Next up is the Therizinosaurus. This figure is pretty big, almost as big as many of the T-Rex figures that I have. Plus it has the tail that you can use to control the front and a button on its tail to control chomping. And it's got some massive claws on its hand too, just like in the Jurassic World movie. Here is a miniature Carnotaurus. It's got the iconic clay red coloring with the brown on top, and it's got a few actions too. Button on the top of its head, closes its eyes, and it's got some sound effects too. And there is a button on its tail for chomping. Here is a smaller Carnotaurus figure, but this one is from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie because it has the broken horn on the top of its head, just like in the movie. This Carnotaurus has a dark green coloring with orange detailing on top and is fairly adjustable too. You can move the legs, the neck, open the jaw, and twist the tail too. Here is another Monolophosaurus. This has a bright green body with darker green detailing on the top. And this Monolophosaurus has an action. When you move the tail, it chomps its jaw shut. Next up is a Jurassic World Dominion Dimetrodon with extreme battle damage on the side. Check that out. You can just turn it on and turn it off with the click of a button. Plus, you can open and close its jaw, twist its neck side to side, and move its legs too. Here are a couple Velociraptor figures. This first one is orange and brown, and it's got a slashing action with its claw, spring-loaded so it swings back and forth. And the second Velociraptor figure is white and dark blue, and this is actually an extreme damage version. So you can click it on and off. This figure is a Tapihara. This is a smaller flying dinosaur, but it's got some pretty unique coloring all over its body. You can see it's got the bright red, along its face, it's got some blue and orange, and it has a unique pattern of coloring on its wings too. Plus, it's got an action button right on its body that you can use to flap its wings. This is a Mira Gaia. This is a pretty unique looking herbivore. It's got those huge spikes on the side of its body, as well as the spikes all along its back and on its tail as well. And it's got a unusually long neck as well. Next up is the Cosmoceratops. Check out that unique pattern of horns all along the top. And of course, it's got the huge horns right next to its eyes too. And this figure has an action that when you pull down the tail, it roars too. Oh. All right, we've got a few more Atrociraptors in here. This first one is a tan color and it's in this sneaking or stalking pose. And this other Atrociraptor is in a standing pose and has the typical gray body with the brown detailing. And on both of them, you can open their jaws too. Next up, we've got another Velociraptor, but this one's a bit different. This one has many more points of articulation than the typical Velociraptor figure has, and it's got some pretty realistic coloring too. It's got the dark green on the sides, the brown on the top, and the light underbelly. That's pretty cool. Pretty realistic, I would say. This is a baby T-Rex. It's a pretty small figure, easily fits into the palm of my hand, and it is bright green in color. Plus, this figure has an action that when you move down the tail, it chomps its jaw shut. Just a few dinosaurs left. This next figure is a Tanistrophius. This dinosaur lives in the water and has a super long neck that you can control by moving the tail up and down. Look at that itty bitty head. This is a Shringosaurus figure. It's another unique looking dinosaur. It's got the super long neck. It's got those two horns on the top of its head and a yellow body with the brown detailing on the top. Next up is what I believe is a Styracosaurus. It's got tons of horns along the front. 
and some unique coloring right there and on the other side too. And the rest of its body is a soft green color with the brown detailing right along the top. Plus, you can move this figure's head up and down by moving the tail. And last of all, we've got the good old Chialingosaurus with the light blue body and the orange right under its belly and its front arms. It's got the little spikes right on its shoulders and the spikes at the end of its tail too. Welcome to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a collection of my Jurassic Park figures versus my Jurassic World Dominion figures. So these are my oldest figures versus my newest figures. Let's get started with this giant T-Rex from Jurassic Park. This is JP29. This figure is rubbery all over aside from its legs and its arms, and you can use the tail to swing its head back and forth. Over here is the Slash and Roar Giganotosaurus. This figure is pretty big. It's about the size of many of my T-Rex figures and it has two actions. The first button activates the torso for swinging back and forth. And the second button activates its jaw. Over here on the Jurassic Park side, we've got a Utah Raptor. This is JP22. This figure also has the all rubbery body aside from its arms and its legs. And it has a chomping action when you press down on its tail. And check it out, it's got pink eyes. I don't think I have another dinosaur with those color eyes. Next from Jurassic World Dominion, we've got the giant new T-Rex figure. This figure is huge and comes with a few features. First, you can move the tail back and forth, which swings its torso back and forth. And there's also a button on its jaw to activate opening and closing the jaw too. Over here from Jurassic Park, we've got another huge T-Rex figure. This figure has a rubbery body, just like all the other Jurassic Park T-Rexes. And this one actually has marbled eyes. Plus, this figure has a stomach compartment, so you can actually feed this dinosaur small dinosaurs, and then you can release them from the stomach down here. Next up, from Jurassic World Dominion, we've got an Ampelosaurus figure. This figure has the clay red body with the brown detailing. It's got spikes all over its body and the tail controls the head. And there's a button to activate the jaw too. From Jurassic Park, this is JP35. And I actually can't remember the name of this species. So comment down below if you recognize which dinosaur figure this is. But it's got these interesting wing-like things coming off of its arms. It's also got some huge spikes coming out of its head and its back. And of course, it's got a super long tail with those spikes at the very end as well. From Jurassic World Dominion, this is a Mega Raptor figure. This figure is red in the back and a dark gray blue color in the front. And it comes with an action that when you press down on its back, it chomps. Check out those super long claws on its hand too. Check this out, we've got a younger looking Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park. This is the JP06 figure. It's got some battle damage on the side. It's got a full rubber body and it looks pretty full grown, but because it's a bit smaller, that's what makes me think it's a juvenile T-Rex. This is the Pyroraptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the classic red coloring on its body with the black on its tail and its legs and some further detailing on its face too. This is a basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail just a bit. This is the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus figure. This dinosaur has some pretty bright coloring all over its body, and of course it's got the iconic red coloring around its face and on its back. And since this figure is from the Hammond Collection, it is super poseable, and you can move all the joints in all sorts of directions. Here is the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus figure. This is JP24. It's got some battle damage right on its shoulder up there 
and some smooth green coloring throughout the rest of its body. And this figure actually has an action button. When you move this part up here, it swings its tail back and forth. From the Dominion series, we have the ginormous Therizinosaurus figure. This figure is mostly black, and it has some pretty cool detailing with all the feathers. And of course, it's got the iconic red stripe up its back and those huge claws on its hand too. Check out how big those are. And this figure has an action where you can move the tail to control the torso and open and shut the jaw too. Check it out, I actually found a much smaller Therizinosaurus in this collection as well. It has much of the same coloring with the dark blue everywhere and the red on its back, but this figure is way smaller. Next from Jurassic Park is JP19, a Parasaurolophus figure. This is light tan with some darker striping along its back and it's got the bright red along the back of its head too. Plus, it's got an action button on its back to move its legs for running. Here from Dominion, I've got two Rajasaurus figures. They look identical aside from their coloring. This first one is a dark blue color. It's got some lighter white on its chin and its neck as well. While this one is a light brown color with some dark blue detailing along its back and neck. And both have the same action button that when you press down on their back, they have a chomping action. Here is a ginormous Triceratops figure from the Jurassic Park collection. This is JP08. This one also has some battle damage right there on its shoulder and it's got the rubbery body, just like many of the other Jurassic Park figures. And when you press down on this figure's stomach, it actually lifts its head up as well. Next up, we've got a few Baryonyx figures from Jurassic Park. This one is JP63. They look identical aside from the coloring again. This one is a dark brown color with some brighter detailing, and this one is a bright yellow color with darker detailing along the top. And both these figures have the same action that when you press down on their leg, they twist their neck back and forth. Here is the Dominion Sound Surge Carnotaurus figure. Let's check out those sound effects. That's pretty cool. It's got some pretty plain coloring along its body, but you can still move the legs, the arms, and the tail as well. I've also got the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. This figure is about the same size as the Carnotaurus we just saw and many of the same features. You can move its arms, its legs, and its tail, and it comes with some cool sound effects too. This next one, I believe, is called an Amargo Spinus. This is JP58. This is a really old figure. It's got some pretty cool detailing and coloring though. Plus, when you move the dinosaur's leg, you can see that the spines actually stick up on its back on its neck, and it opens its jaw too. Here is a good old Triceratops from Jurassic Park. This is JP44. It's a smaller figure with the green body and the darker detailing on top. And when you move the leg on this figure, it lifts its head up too. Looks like I've got a few Atrociraptor figures in here. Check it out, they're all about the same size. This first one is a light tan color and is actually in the crawling or sneaking pose whereas these other two are just in the normal standing pose. This one I think is my favorite coloring because it's a lot brighter and pretty cool looking. Next from Jurassic Park, we've got another Velociraptor figure. This one is striped all over its body and it's got the light underbelly. And you can move the arms and the legs just a little bit. And the neck used to chomp downwards, but I think it's a little broken now. Check it out, I've got another Atrociraptor figure, but this one is a lot larger than the ones I just showed you. This one has the classic white and brown striping coloring and those awesome red eyes as well. But this is a basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail just a little bit, and you can't open the jaw at all. Right over here, it looks like I've got a baby dinosaur. This is JP58, and this originally came in an egg that you can open up. And look, it's got those marbled eyes as well. That's a pretty cool feature. Here is another Velociraptor figure, but this one has a broken leg feature. Look at that, you can actually move its leg a little bit like that. Plus, you can move the rest of its body as well. The legs, the arms, and you can open and close the jaw too. 
this Jurassic Park figure, I believe, is called the Chasmosaurus. This is JP21. This looks kind of like a Triceratops, but it has some different features on the front of its body. And this figure has an action that when you move its leg, it lifts its head up. And it has sound effects, too. Here is a small Carnotaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the dark green body with the orange detailing on top. This Dilophosaurus figure is from Jurassic Park, and it looks quite a bit different from the new Jurassic World Dilophosaurus figures, don't you think? This is the Extreme Battle Damage Coelurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the green body with the clay red detailing along its legs and its tail, and of course it's got the battle damage on its side that you can turn on and off. Right over here, we've got a Spinosaurus figure from Jurassic Park. This figure is pretty bright with that bright green coloring right next to the dark gray color. And it has an action button that when you move its arm, it opens and closes its jaw. Over here, this is our last Dominion figure. This is the extreme battle damage Velociraptor. Check out that battle damage on its side. And last of all, we've got a Jurassic Park Velociraptor. This is a very classic figure. It's got the brown sides with the black detailing on top and the jaw that you can open and close by pressing on its head. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we're checking out my huge collection of Predator dinosaurs. And I've even got some brand new ones to unbox today. Let's go ahead and get started with the biggest one. This is the release and rampage pack with an Atrociraptor in it. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, we've got our Atrociraptor in this cage right here. You can control it with the tail in the back. And then we've got our character right here. And what you can do is you release the door, slides upwards, and there comes the dinosaur. Oh, look out, it's an Atrociraptor. Let's check out this dinosaur too. I love that coloring. That is super cool. And look at all those teeth too. That is awesome. And of course, it's got the DNA reader right on the top too. That is super awesome. I'm super excited to add this to my collection. Let's move on to the next one. All right, our very next brand new one is this dinosaur. I believe it's pronounced the Ragosaurus. Let's open this up and see what it can do. All right, here it is. Let's pop that tail on. That was easy. All right. So this dinosaur has some pretty interesting coloring. It's mostly dark brown, and then it's got that speckled blue right on the top right here. And it's got an action. Let's see what it does. You ready? Here we go. All right, comes with its own sound effects too, with a chomping action. That is super awesome. And we've got another brand new dinosaur. This is a Velociraptor from the Hammond collection. That is super cool. Let's see what this Velociraptor looks like. All right, so here it is. Let's pop that tail on. Wow, this tail is a lot more adjustable than the other Velociraptor tails that I have. And check it out. This Velociraptor is super poseable, a lot more poseable than most of the Velociraptor figures that I have. Look at that, you can move its arms and its knees, its elbows. You can rotate its head around, up and down. That is super detailed. And the coloring on this is really cool. It's darker than most of the other Velociraptors that I have. So this one will look super cool with my collection. All right, let's dig into the rest of these dinosaurs. Let's start with this humongous Indominus Rex right here with battle damage. You can see it right there and you can flip it on and off. That is so cool. The arms are adjustable and you can control its jaw too. Right, right up front here, we've got a massive Tyrannosaurus Rex with camouflage coloring. That is pretty cool. I think this is one of my favorite T-Rexes that I have actually because of how camouflaged and how perfectly it would blend into the jungle. So you wouldn't even know it's sneaking up until it's too late. Watch out! We've 
got another huge predator dinosaur right here. This is the Spinosaurus. And look how narrow its head is. And all those teeth in the front. Spinosauruses actually like to eat fish and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting. Ooh, here's a super bright dinosaur. This is the Cryolophosaurus, and it's got tons of sound effects too. And look at that interesting crown on its head. It's like bright orange. That's so interesting. Right over here, we've got a brightly colored giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at this one. It's kind of like spotted too. It's got an action button right up the top here to operate its mouth. That is super awesome. This is a very unusual colored Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, check out this ginormous one that we've got right in the front up here. This is a Mosasaurus. I bet you recognize this from the Jurassic World movies. This is a huge dinosaur that lurks beneath the waters. So you better watch out whenever you go swimming in deep waters if you're in the Jurassic World. All right, we've got a bunch more Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Each of them have their own unique function. Look at this one. It's got a button up top, you press it, and it does a tearing action with its jaw. And it's got a tail sweeping action too with a button back here. That is so cool. Up next, we've got a brown Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one has a button right up top, right on top of its head to operate the jaw. That is so cool. And this one is fully posable as well. And I love the detail to its skin all over. That is so cool, super realistic. Up next, we've got an orange Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Look at that right there. It's all over its body. That is so cool. Even on its tail too. And just like the last Tyrannosaurus Rex, this one has a button up top for the roar function. Wow, look at that tongue and those teeth too. Here is another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I believe that this one is from the Dominion line as well from Jurassic World. This is super cool. Look at this button on its tail. You press that. Wow, check out that roar. And check out how big it opens its jaw too. That is huge. And just like our other T-Rexes, you can wiggle the tail and it moves his head too, which is pretty cool. All right, let's keep digging for more predators. This is the mighty Carnotaurus. Check out those horns on the top of its head and look at the size of this body too. That is one massive dinosaur. Up next, we've got another Indominus Rex. This one's a little bit smaller than the last one we saw. And it comes with some battle damage too. Look at that, you can open it and shut it to hide the battle damage. And when you move the tail, there goes the chomping action too. This predator is an Allosaurus and check out that awesome blue coloring on its back. It's got the darker blue on the rear and then a lighter blue on its neck and its head. And this dinosaur has a chomping action too. And right over here, this is an awesome colored dinosaur. Look at all that red. This is a Ceratosaurus. And look at that horn right on the tip of its nose too. That is pretty awesome. And this dinosaur also has a chomping action. Up next, you better hope that you don't find this dinosaur in the water. This is a Sarcosagus. Look at that super long mouth and that huge snout right on the end. Look at all those teeth too. That is so cool. 
And right over here, we've got the mighty Albertosaurus with battle damage. You can even move its ribs up and down and completely cover it. Or if you want to see the stomach or whatever that is in there, it's kind of squishy. You can also open it all the way just like that. Look at that battle damage on its leg too. That is so cool. All right, here is one of what I think is the most scariest of dinosaurs. This is the Scorpios Rex. This toy has the roar action and a slashing action with its hands. Check out those huge claws on its feet. And of course, the poisonous quills on its tail. Up next, another predator. I think this one looks like a Ceratosaurus, don't you think? Because of that horn right on the tip of its nose again. But this one's colored very differently. This is like a brown with like orange speckles on it. Check it out, that is so cool. Let's keep digging. What else do we have in here? Oh, look at this one. I believe this is a Carnotaurus, but it is colored way differently than the other ones that I have. I think it's a Carnotaurus because of those two horns on its head right there. But I love the coloring on this. It's like striped and it's got those bumps all along its skin too. That is super cool. Wow, look at this one. This is ferocious looking. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it looks like an endoraptor. Don't you think? Definitely looks sneaky. And another one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Great Velociraptor. And this one is super poseable too. Check it out. You can move basically every limb on this dinosaur and open and shut its jaw as well. All right, here we've got another mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one has unique coloring. I don't have any others that have the black striping on the top like this. And this one is more of a model, so you can't move any of the limbs or the mouth or anything like that. So this dinosaur would look great on your collection shelf. Oh, what's this right here? This is a different looking dinosaur. I think it's a T-Rex, but it looks to be battery operated. Let's see what it does when we turn it on. Oh. It's a walking T-Rex. I can hardly keep it in my hands. That's pretty cool. And I think you can open and shut its jaw too. Look at that. There you go. There's still so many predators left. Check this out. This is another Allosaurus with different coloring. This one is pretty cool. And look at that interesting thing right above its eyes. That is super cool. And of course, it's got a chomping action. Better watch out. Ooh, look at this one. I believe that this is actually a baby Giganotosaurus. You can tell it's not an adult size yet. And it has some features that make it look like more of a juvenile dinosaur. But that is pretty cool still. And it's got the movable jaw as well. Right over here, wow. This is an interesting looking dinosaur. It looks kind of like a T-Rex, but look, if you look closely, it kind of looks like it has feathers all over its body, especially on its head right there too. That is super interesting. I actually don't know what type of dinosaur this is. Let me know in the comments if you know what type of dinosaur this is. Wow, check this one out. This is a good old fashioned T-Rex, but it is a bright blue and gold color. It's got the movable jaw too. And this is an awesome collector's dinosaur right here. This is so cool. Look at this. This is a super realistic Indominus Rex. 
This is different than the other ones that we have because look how detailed it is. All over its body, it's got so many different colors in there and the spikes on its back are a lot smaller and its face looks a lot meaner too. At least I think so. Here's another brightly colored dinosaur. This looks kind of like a velociraptor, but I'm not quite sure. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Comment below if you know. All right, another Carnotaurus. But look, this one has one of its horns broken right off. It must have been damaged while in battle or something. Oh, here's a really cool looking Velociraptor. Super detailed, like some of the other models that we've seen. We've got that bright blue stripe all along its body, and you can open and close its mouth and adjust the arms as well. That is so cool. Better watch out for this dinosaur. All right, another T-Rex, one of the mightiest predators. This one is an awesome green and yellow color, and it's got like gold feet and gold hands, it looks like. This is another super detailed model that you can put up on a shelf. Oh, right over here. We haven't seen this predator too much in this hall yet. This is a Dilophosaurus. You better watch out for these. These are super vicious. All right, another Velociraptor. This one is a bright green color and you can open and close its mouth and adjust the arms and legs too. This is a super cool action figure. We've got a few really cool looking Atrociraptors right here. Look at this one. This one is super mean looking, super hungry, I think. And then we've got a bright orange Atrociraptor as well. Better keep your eye on this one. Up next, we've got the Herrerasaurus with a super narrow face. And right over here, we've got the great and mighty Monolophosaurus. And look at that nose too. That is one of the distinct features of this dinosaur. Just a few more left. Here is a super awesome colored Velociraptor. It's like a dark brown, almost purple in real life kind of. And then the bright orange on top. This is so cool. And this is, well, I'm actually not sure what this is. What do you think it looks like? Let me know in the comments below. Here is our last mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex of the hall. Super cool, black stripes on top, green on the sides. And our last dinosaur is the Great Spinosaurus with battle damage. Super cool. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.